Mewing is a facial exercise that's becoming increasingly popular and for good reason. Mewing is a technique that helps to improve your facial structure and sharpen your jawline at home completely by yourself without needing any surgery. So without wasting your time, I'm about to teach you the step-by-step -step guide on how to mew and also how to prevent making common mistakes. Let's get into it. The first step to mewing is to start by keeping your mouth completely closed. Relax your facial muscles and keep your lips sealed. Second step is to place your bottom front teeth right behind your upper front teeth without them touching. Your front teeth should not touch each other and your back molars may lightly touch depending on the shape of your palate. Third step is to place the entire surface of your tongue up against the roof of your mouth. You want the tip of your tongue to sit just behind the backs of your upper front teeth. It's so important to have your whole tongue flat against the roof of your mouth, and this part can be difficult to do. The fourth step is to hold your tongue flat against the roof of your mouth for at least five minutes. But you can do this as many times a day for as long as you can comfortably hold your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Over time, holding your tongue in the correct place will become easier as you will be strengthening the tongue and surrounding jaw muscles. The goal is to make your tongue sit in the mewing position naturally and it to become the standard position your tongue sits in. It can take months for it to start feeling natural to mew. So hopefully you get the hang of the mewing technique and you stay consistent and do it all day long. Mewing is a long-term process and requires consistent effort, but the results will be worth it. Not only can mewing help sharpen your jawline and strengthen your facial muscles, there's also many researchers who believe it can help with oral health, proper breathing technique, and improving your body posture. Your tongue's placement is more important than you may think. Your tongue and jaw placement can affect your teeth, your jaw, your chin, your neck, your posture, and even your airways position. A good example of this is chronic mouth breather's face, which is when someone has a receded jaw and a long narrow face. Mouth breather's face is linked to improper tongue position. So there's a lot of evidence to suggest mewing could help improve many health issues and facial structure problems. Subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more self-improvement tips and comment on any question you may have about mewing. See you next time.